Congressman John Yarmuth of Kentucky, you're here in studio, and our, I, I watch a lot of Fox News because I'm a thinker, and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm really deep that way, and uh, it, it seems to me that they've sort of realized that the real panic about the ACA is that it's going to lead to the dreaded single-payer system. If we began, ca- instead of saying single-payer, saying Medicare for all, would that boogeyman disappear in about a day? I think so, and actually, I, you know, I think one of the big mistakes that we made early on, the White House took public option off the table. What we should have done was made a Medicare, have it, had a Medicare option for mm-hmm. anybody where you could have bought into Medicare. It would have brought healthier, younger people into Medicare, which would have made it more stable financially, and that would have been wildly popular because there is no more popular program than Medicare. It polls near 80% approval, mm-hmm. and uh, that was a big mistake, but you know, I'm convinced that within five to ten years, we will have a major uh, campaign for single payer, and it will be led by businesses. So, in other words, uh, capitalism will lead us to socialized medicine. <laughs> That's it. Well put. <laughs> because socialized medicine is very good for capitalism. It is, and you know, Humana is based in my district. Eighty percent of Humana's forty billion dollars a year in revenue right now is is administering government programs. And all of its profit, because their commercial business is not Those profitable. Those takers. So, Those takers. Yeah. So <laughs> everybody says, well, it's going to be government taker. Well, th- you know, that's it's about 8,000 jobs in my district that are basically, he, Humana is a government subcontractor. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, so they'll, they'll do real well because they know how to administer government programs. If we had Medicare for everybody, they their business would just skyrocket. <laughs> 